What's going on everybody? This is Living in Arizona Now and today we're coming to you from Jerome, Arizona. This old mining boom town turned ghost town and nowadays a tourist attraction. Let's do it. So Jerome sits up top the Black Hills on Cleopatra Hill sitting on very rich ore deposits of copper. Dating back to 1876, there were mining claims that were put on the land in the area and a mill was set up. Those claims were purchased by the United Verde Company and the reason they call it Jerome, Arizona is it's named after a financier named Eugene Jerome. And as all you know, Arizona is known as the Copper State. Well, it's because we've got these boom towns like Jerome and several others across the state that are known for copper deposits. But anyway, back to Jerome. In the mid-1920s, the population had exploded to 15,000 people. And then it all dried up. People left. And the only thing left were the ghosts of the past. That's why they called it a ghost town. Now when you decide to go up to Jerome, what you'll want to do is you'll check out Main Street. Now Main Street was known for some of its red light district and activities. Also, another thing that's popular, ghost town tours. There's private tours, there's walking tours, shuttles. You can even do your own tour if you really wanted. There's a spirit walk and there's the original Jerome ghost town adventure. So do some research on Google and you'll find out the information for those tours. Also, one of the things that's become very popular in the region of the Verde Valley and up in Jerome, wine tasting. So people come all the way up here to do some wine tasting, walk around. There's also a local art scene that's made this place very popular with people who are into a diversified portfolio of art and collectible antiques from the early 1900s. Now, if you did decide to visit Jerome on your own, you're going to be going the 89A from Sedona and Prescott. Or if you're coming from Phoenix, you can take I-17 and come in through Cottonwood. So the reason there's so much copper out here in Jerome is because around 1.75 billion years ago, according to scientists, a ring fault line developed in a caldera. So they say this was underwater. It was an undersea volcano. And then the tectonic plates moved upwards, creating the deposition and then the erosion and the geological process ultimately created the tip of the ore bodies and that was where the copper came from. So in summary, Jerome owes its existence to an undersea volcano because they're saying that this area here was under an ocean. Now what really gave it its character were the miners. So as you guys know, in 1849 there was a gold rush in California. Well, in the late 1800s, early 1900s, there was a copper rush in Arizona and those miners brought with them all types of different attitudes coming from different places all across the country and even from far distant lands. And one of the interesting things about a mining boom town is some people, they strike pay dirt and they get really wealthy. So some of the miners, when they would strike pay dirt, had a lot of money to spend. 
Where do you think they're going to spend that money? Well, they're going to head down to the red light district and they're going to go out for drinks at the saloon, right? Yes, and maybe even buy some other things like some tools. But miners, when they hit pay dirt, they were ready to spend some money. It's the old culture of, you know, work hard and play hard. So as we work our way down here along Main Street, we're actually coming up to the area where the red light district would have been. Let's talk about the hotels up here because people say they're haunted. There's a variety of different hotels including the Garcia House, which is where the mine management used to do business from. Then it was owned by the Garcia family. Nowadays you could stay there as a bed and breakfast. Not going to guarantee that you'll have any encounters with ghosts or paranormal activity, but if you did want that, you could go up the mountain to the old hospital. And previously I did touch on the vineyards and the wine country out here in the Verde. This is the Arizona wine country. There's two places in Arizona where we've got wine country, Southern Arizona and the Verde Valley. But you can see there's several different vineyards for wine tasting around Jerome. All right, we made it to the House of Joy, and yes, you guessed it, that's an old red light district building. As you can see, Jerome Main Street goes along a windy road, sitting at around 5,000 feet elevation, so be ready to get some exercise if you're going to walk around Jerome. That's a good healthy exercise, but once you get that exercise in, go treat yourself to a burger. Maybe even head up to Haunted Burger.
So now we've arrived at the Jerome Hotel, which used to be a hospital that you can now stay at when you visit for the hotel. They even say it used to be a mental asylum after it was a hospital. So that's a place you may find some hauntings. And now we'll head down to the Audrey shaft. So as you can see, this is the old mine. This is where they used to get that extracted deposits from for copper. This wasn't the only shaft, but this is the one that you can check out that still has the head frame still intact. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching this episode from Jerome, and that's a wrap. We'll see you guys on the next one as we head out into those red mountains there through Sedona onto Flagstaff. So watch that next video. So click on the Flagstaff or Sedona video.